in this video I'm going to show you how to add a IP camera from another NVR or DVR. My current NVR that I'm on is connected to the same network as my primary NVR. I can go and find my current IP address here. It's the default IP address. To add the camera, I go back into main menu, go to camera, manual add, select the manufacturer's private, I'm going to type in the IP address of the NVR. If you are connecting to multiple different cameras, this, all you need to do is type in the IP address of the primary NVR where you want to fetch the cameras from, not the individual IP address of the cameras inside. So don't type in 10.1 or some other IP address. Go into the other NVR the same way, go to network, find its IP address on the screen. Go back on your secondary NVR, go to registration, go to manual add, add that IP address for the other one. Mine happens to be 101. This can only be done on the local network and not be done over the internet. TCP port is 3 quadruple 7 unless you've changed it in the other NVR. Username and password. In my case, I have a test user I've set up, which I'll be using. And then hit connect. Before you hit connect, understand that this bottom section lets you choose which channel number you want to get from the other NVR. Some of the newer ones will automatically connect all the cameras from the other NVR to your secondary. Hit connect, and let's see what happens. In my case, I've actually even changed my my uh, port for the 3 quadruple 7. In your case, it should work. So I'm going to go back and modify that. We have another layer of complexity on our network on purpose. So here I'm typing my IP address. I have changed my TCP port to 9001 instead of 3 quadruple 7. Password is different. Yours will be TCP port 3 quadruple 7. If you haven't changed it, username admin, password admin. When I hit connect, it automatically synced that there were eight channels on my primary NVR, and it's getting channel number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which I can choose. I'm going to hit channel 1, press OK. It automatically detects I have eight possible channels in fact, I only have six cameras, so I go back, registration, and remove channel 7 and 8 because they're empty. Press delete. Here you have it. Now I have six cameras coming from my primary NVR onto my secondary. And if you want to change recording options, go into storage, and you can change those recording options here accordingly to how you want them to be. So now you can basically fetch cameras from another DVR NVR to record on another NVR.